So just like a lot of us thought, Darius Jackson used clout chasing bloggers to put out misinformation for him to support his narrative. And that is the dangerous thing that comes with bloggers and not doing the actual work and being interested in telling a story first. Let's talk about it. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. So what's going on you all? We have heard the audio coming from Kiki Palmer and her mother talking to Darius Jackson and this whole situation has been a complete mess like each and every day there's more things being put out and I hate that we're even talking about it but I felt the need to discuss because I'm seeing so much misinformation being put out now that we're hearing the audio from Kiki Palmer's mother and conversations about, you know, Usher being potentially gay. Like all of the things that are important are missing from this conversation. And I wanna make sure that we're staying on track. So I don't know if you all have heard the audio, but the audio is online. I will not be playing it. We did talk about it on Patreon in a live discussion yesterday, but I will not be playing the audio here. It's a lot of mess in that. Um, so Darius Jackson sent audio or recordings of a conversation between Kiki Palmer, him, and Miss Sharon, who is Kiki Palmer's mother. And it's like a seven minute audio. And there's another audio that is supposedly Kiki Palmer talking about putting her hands on Darius Jackson. So the thing I always have an issue with recording is that you can always tell that a person is performing for the secret recording. Like the things he was doing to antagonize Sharon, to antagonize Kiki to get a rise and make them say some of the things because he knew that it was going to be good audio and he forgot to play his part. He forgets that he's such a terrible actor that he forgot to play his part. Like he could even hold on to being the reasonable person in the room, even though he was the only one that was aware that it was being recorded. Now there is some reports in saying that um, Saranis, um, Darius Jackson's brother has something to do with it or he record. I don't know. We don't hear him. All I, I hear a voice that sounds like Kiki Palmer. I hear what is supposed to be Darius Jackson and also Kiki Palmer's mother. And um, the call goes on and Kiki Palmer's mother is, you know, basically drilling um, Darius Jackson and saying that you're not going to do these things you've been, you know, dragging my daughter online you're just like your your father you're like crazy she's accusing him of things that we have seen now this seems to be around the time the time frame of when kiki palmer had you know the whole situation with usher at the usher concert because darius jackson says in this audio put on some clothes tell your daughter to put on some clothes so i'm guessing it's around this time and you can hear kiki palmer very calmly saying that you you do not need to drag me you do not need to do all of this these things online and I felt like Kiki Palmer in this moment is trying to reason with him, trying to be like, hey, you know, this is not how you react and understanding that he may have some mental health issues. Now, she has brought it up in the, in the audio from what we from what we're hearing that he has a history of, you know, some mental illness. Um, but I do not like conversations like this because we will put situations like this on folks who have mental health issues and there are people who are suffering um, and experiencing mental health issues who do not engage in this type of behavior who do not like who do not do things like this as a person who has had family members who had paranoid schizophrenia um, and experienced you know outbreaks like i remember and this is not something i've talked about or shared publicly um, I remember being very, very young. I think I was in probably um, elementary school and my uncle, um, who is now deceased, he had a he had an episode and you know my mother was trying to like make sure he was good and he just was like spazzing out. So to, in order to protect us, she asked him to leave and he left and he came in and he um, kicked the storm window in our house. I'll never forget it because like me and my mother like we were frightened i was like not going to allow anything to happen to my mother or my little brother and we me and my mother hold the door and put the i never forget it was a red and white um, study desk we put up against the um door and kept him from coming out he, he walked the door he was just talking like crazy but he just broke in he just walked around and you know 
He since apologized to us about that, but I don't think that he was trying to intentionally like harm us. I think he was just, you know, he was having an episode. But not to say that people, like it doesn't happen, but I don't like how we throw mental illness on folks who do things like this because there are people who are abusive who do not have mental health issues. They are misogynists who do not have respect for women, who do not think that women um, have, should have a say so or anything. Like uh, that's just, that's just what it is, and that they're just that. It has nothing to do with them having mental health issues. It's just how they look and value women, or do not value women. And I think Darius Jackson has both of those. I think he may have mental health issues, but I also think he does not respect women. We talked about the people that he was following online. He was following a lot of incels, and he seemed like a person who was supportive of a Kevin Samuels, like. I, I, and I, we, we had a good conversation last night on Patreon about it because there's just so many men who believe in this type of thing. And it's hard for women to be able to find men who don't have these ideologies because it's so rampant. It's so rampant. And I know it's rampant in the heterosexual community because there are gay men, gay black men, who think these same things. So I, I, I feel bad, like I feel like terrible and you just never know how it will show up because unfortunately a lot of these folks will perform like they are good people and they are not. And Darius Jackson being lighter skin, being red is desirable, helps him maintain some level of innocence because there is no way to some people, the general public, how society looks, there's no way for this very desirable man to be capable of harm. We've seen that time and time again how, you know, things stick on certain folks and it does not stick on, um, you know, people who look like Darius Jackson. When we look at the incarceration of black men or black folks in general, dark skinned black folks are the ones who are more incarcerated than any other group of people, period. It happens to women and men, period. I see it. Like I see it in, even in the queer community. I see it when, he, when it comes to like dark skinned trans women. How being dark skinned is being seen as, you know, evil or dark or like even the connotation around darkness is evil. And I, that's why I respect folks who were critical of Doja Cat, um, you know, doing the demon video. And I love that song, but she had the demon in, in black. And folks were criticizing that and people did not get that. People didn't understand like, why is it? Because how we portray darkness, how it affects us. Like, we don't even know what demons look like. Nobody has ever really even seen a quote unquote demon. No one's ever seen, we've never seen one do a TV interview besides some of our politicians. And they don't look dark skinned to me. <laughs> get my hand. But yes, um, the way this story is being sensationalized, we have bloggers who have received audio from Darius Jackson who have admitted and said that they feel played um, because they thought they were getting it exclusive to the point that you have an audio like this and folks are putting their name stamped on it. Now, I don't have an issue with folks who are getting stuff and stamping their name because I've done it before, but with a situation that is as delicate as this, it requires special hands. We are talking about a domestic, that is the conversation. This is not no pop culture situation. We're redoing what happened to Rihanna all over again, where we're sensationalizing everything as, oh, this is like latest stuff. This is latest stuff. And people are harmed in, in this whole process. In this whole process, you have this going on. And this is a family. This is a family. Um, and it's just, it's really sad because Darius Jackson has now used these bloggers who are so interested in getting attention. Now they're, they're posting the audio online without any care. And when I say that, if Darius Jackson would have sent me or if anybody would have sent me an audio of this, I would have had an internal dialogue with myself and said, this doesn't sound right. Like this is why I don't get into the quote unquote blogging. That's why I don't do Kinga Reads anymore, like writing stories and stuff, because I don't want to participate in this type of behavior. Although I do talk about a lot of stuff that do appear on the blogs. I try to make sure that I'm having a conversation from another like non-traditional conversation like other folks do. Like they'll talk about it 
as if it's gossip and I'll analyze it a little bit and explain to you all what is going on. That's what I enjoy doing. Um, and seeing how this came out and that Darius Jackson sent this audio. I wouldn't, if I would've got the audio, I'd say, I, there's no need for me to put this out. It probably would've still came out, but it's like, there's no need for me to put my stamp of approval on it. Like, I'm not putting this out because, oh, this is exclusive for King of Reeds. Like this, no, absolutely not. I'm not doing that because what is the purpose? What does this do? Yes, Miss Sharon was definitely engaging in some things. She was definitely being ignorant. And I think we can't admit that. Like Miss Sharon, you know, bringing up Usher um, um, being bisexual or whatever, that doesn't matter. Her saying that, oh, you uh, sucker this and sucker that, unnecessary. Uh, bringing up the fact that he, like all the things, there is things that could have been said, but you know what? These things will not do anything to harm Darius Jackson, because that was the ultimate goal. What is the thing that I can say to Darius Jackson to cause him harm? Because calling him a misogynist, calling him um, these things, these words that mean things, come on word to crystals, these mean things, but it's not going to dig because he already knows it. He knows he's a misogynist. He knows that. Like, and people like him are the main ones that will say, oh, this is coming from Shea Butter Twitter or pronoun Twitter or pronoun, these are pronoun people. They'll be very dismissive. See, they can't even come up with no, no word or no definition or anything for it because there isn't one. You have to come up with some other derogatory thing. Pro pronoun people, Shea Butter people. Like, what's wrong with being, we all pronoun people. <laughs> We're all pronoun people. What's wrong with using Shea Butter? Like, what is that? But you have folks who engage in that type of rhetoric um, and Derek Jackson has tapped into these bloggers who have massive platforms and are able to put out this stuff. And now you got people more focused on what Miss Sharon was saying in this audio about Usher, about this, and it's like, it has lost the plot. It has lost the complete plot. And that helps Darius Jackson at the end because now it looks like that it's two people going back and forth each other and they just doing stupid stuff versus Darius Jackson being accused of abuse. Like this is watering it down. Like now it's pop culture fodder. Instead of this is some serious things that Darius Jackson is being accused of. We're not even talking about the images and the videos and stuff and this man appearing at her home without her knowing it. Like, unannounced. We're not even talking about that. We all witnessed what he did to humiliate her publicly. We saw how he talked about her online and we saw how he engaged and maybe they did have a conversation after that. Maybe he did change a little bit, but you cannot change these people like that that easily. Like, they will not change. Like, <laughs> people do not change like that overnight. That's why these public apologies from celebrities and stuff don't really mean anything because where is the changed behavior? Acknowledge what you have done. Yes, you may have to apologize, apologize, and apologize again, but that is the, that, that's the least of your concerns considering that your whatever you have done has hurt or harmed a group of people. That's the least that you can do. So the conversations and stuff, I do appreciate there are some YouTubers, um, there is someone who I follow who is a lawyer who is dissecting this and talking about this from a legal perspective and I have enjoyed that. Um, but I just hate that now it has become like some mess versus Derrick Jackson being held accountable by whoever um, and to be in a, a conversation about how he moves and how he treats women. Because if he has done this to Kiki Palmer, he'll do it to another person. And now we're finding out that there is a history of domestic violence within the family because Darius Jackson's mother, when she filed for divorce, um, she had a restraint. She filed a restraining order in 2020 um, against Darius Jackson's um, father. In 2020, and also Darius Jackson's brother has been accused of some things too. We haven't talked about that, but you know, one of the, one, somebody who has dated him or I think has a child with him um, has accused him of some things too. Because even in the audio, we hear Miss Sharon say, you know, 
then yeah, you, your brother, we heard about your brother. And, and Kiki Palmer, who is supposed to be in this audio as well, has said that she was warned by a grandmother or a family member that, you know, he has a history, Derek Jackson has a history of, you know, some stuff. And I don't, again, agree with people connecting the mental health to the misogyny. I don't agree with that because there are people who are not dealing with mental health issues in that type of way who are clear, strong misogynists. We see it and we cannot normalize that. We cannot normalize that to that type of behaviors that only people who are un, quote unquote unstable are doing stuff like that. It's not. Not if we're serious about ending stuff like this. Uh, but I just wanted to add something to the conversation um, and offer some type of nuance because I just seen it just going downhill. And um, I, I just a word to people who are providing commentary on stuff like this. When you are talking about things like this, you need to be very careful of what you are putting out. It's easy for us to get in front of the camera, us to be able to do these things. We have these platforms, but we have to be very responsible how we use them. We can't treat this as, oh, this is like, I know I'm gonna get some views, I know I'm gonna get some what's name, because if the ultimate goal is making money, there is no incentive to be good. If the goal is to make money from these things, then you will do whatever is needed to be done to get more visibility. Like, that's just what it is. If that's the ultimate goal. And that is a line that us content creators struggle with. Like, even myself, like, I know certain conversations and certain things that I do will get pushback. It could be the truth, but people will not like it. I've experienced it. So yes, we have to be aware of things like this when we are being rewarded with more visibility and more money because it's just how are you able to make a decision and say, hey, does this need to be put out or are you more interested in making money from it? And sadly, a lot of bloggers and stuff and content creators are engaging in the capitalist way. Um, and I don't necessarily completely blame them because they do have to make money. But then again, we have to reel it back and say, hey, what if I am on the receiving end of that? And we have saw that with, you know, another person who is being talked about right now online. But that's all I got. Let me know y'all comments below and um, talk to you later. Bye.